Hey guys, Harsh here back in the video. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can connect the HCSR04 sonar sensor with uh, Arduino and display the readings on the serial monitor. So this is just a simple basic project. This will allow you to understand how the sensor works and what readings you can get from it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So for this project, obviously we will need the HCSR04 sensor over here as you can see. And it has as you can see four pins, VCC, ground, trigger and echo. So basically what happens is the this I think sends out the ultrasonic waves and when it makes contact with the object, it uh, reflects back and is sensed by this particular thing over here, which are which I think is basically the same. And that's how the duration is calculated and the distance between the object and the sensor is calculated so pretty neat technology and then obviously we will need our Arduino Uno. this will allow us to get the readings from the sensor calculate them here and spit it out in the serial monitor and then to connect them all we will obviously need some jumper wires so now let's see how we can connect it to the board so first up let's connect our power so we will use the VCC and connect it to the plus 5 volts output on the Arduino so the output is right over here as you can see and I have connected on a breadboard so this makes the connection a lot easier so as you can see here is the plus 5 volts, we will just connect it over here, just like so. Then we will take our ground and connect it to the ground on the Arduino which is right over here. Now coming to the echo and trigger pin, firstly we will connect our echo pin which uh, this is the one right next to the ground pin. And connect it to pin number 7, the digital pin on the Arduino. You can use any digital pin you like, but in my case, I'm using just uh, digital pin 7 right over here. And then we'll connect the trigger pin, which is which is the pin right next to the VCC. And connect it to pin number 8, the digital pin on the Arduino. So that's it for the connection. Now we can go ahead and connect the Arduino to the computer and program the board and get the output on the serial monitor. Okay, so here is the code that we need to upload to the Arduino board. And as you can see, I have included the wire.h library and you don't need to install it externally. It just comes with the Arduino IDE. Then you can see here we have defined the pin number for the echo pin and the trigger pin. So you just need to change 7 and 8 over here if you want to use a different pin. And then if you move to the void setup here, you can see that we have defined the trigger pin as output and the echo pin as input over here. Then in the loop function will calculate the distance. And then we will store it just in a, this variable over here, which is DISP and then we'll just print it using the serial dot print option and after that we can add a 500 millisecond delay otherwise it will just keeps on printing very fast which is unnecessary you can also increase the delay it is 500 millisecond now so that means half a second so if you want one second you can just type 1000 so that will make it every one second so in every one second you will get the readings from the sensor so we can just go to tools now select our board which is Arduino Nano in my case processor is automatically selected which is the atmega328 then we'll select our COM port in which our Arduino Nano is connected and then after that we can finally hit on upload and upload the code to the board so as you can see right now it is compiling the sketch now it's uploading the code and then you can say here it is done uploading now we can go ahead and open up the serial monitor by going to tools and then clicking on serial monitor and once it's up you can see we are now getting the distance reading so if I put my hand over it you can see it changes so 18 centimeter, 16 centimeter. So if you move your hand closer or further away accordingly it will change the distance and as you can see some other values are coming up and that is because the sensor is not very accurate so that's why you won't be able to get absolute accurate measurements so you have to watch out for that. So there it is guys that's how you can use the HCSR04 sensor with uh, Arduino Uno. The code and the circuit diagram are all given in the description below so you can check that out. So thanks for this video please like subscribe and share and I will see you all later.